YouTube, what's up? It's Mesa, and we're gonna do a tour of my new recording setup. Yeah, I finally moved, uh, we're all settled in, so I figured I'd give you a tour of the uh, new room that I'm recording and streaming from. Uh, not the whole apartment, because I think that'd be a little creepy there. But yeah, we're gonna go through my stuff, and uh, safe to say I'm really enjoying creating content in this room, compared to having a dining room that was pretty much uh, just a dining room with a U-Haul blanket tacked up onto the wall with some foam wedges and whatnot taped up onto the U-Haul blanket. So let's go through everything. Alrighty, so let's do a little panoram here. So this is this side of the room here. Got a bunch of tchotchkes uh, up there and a whole bunch of lanyards. We've got some 3D printed weapons there. It's a Hawk Moon and a Last Word. A bunch of stuff there. And then we've got our uh, DX Racer chair there. Uh, no, I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, for sponsors for this video, the only thing you'll see is uh, Elgato, Scuff, Astro, and also Control Freaks. But um, yeah, let's just, I guess we should just start with the equipment. Who cares about the kitchen, right? <laughs> I haven't set up my kitchen yet. Yeah, I still have boxes to unpack. All right, let's start with the equipment. And here we go, cueing the anti-Mac uh, comment. Well bashing me for using Macs, but I don't care. That's what I've been using and what I feel most comfortable with. I will get a PC at some point, probably this fall. Uh, I know you're saying you should get one for this August because of cross save, and I, I planned on getting a PC this summer. I had it all spec'd out and everything, but uh, this move cleaned me out financially, so <laughs> I need to uh, recoup, and uh, I'll get one hopefully this fall to play Destiny on. But I'm not going to go full-time on PC because, I mean, all my friends are on PS4 Pro. I always tell people, just play where your friends are, and I mean, that's all you need to do. All right, let's start with over here. So, we got an iMac from, I think, like two years ago. Nothing special there. Um, I don't really use it. I actually don't use it at all, actually. That thing is almost just never on. Um, now, I've got a MacBook Pro here. That's the monster right there. I custom ordered that one. I pretty much ordered every bell and whistle you pro um, you possibly could. There's two graphics cards in there. That thing renders movies just ridiculously fast. Um, and, uh, yes, I am still, move uh, still using iMovie to make all my videos on the iMac that I use there and also this MacBook Pro. Yeah, one day maybe I'll grow up. Up and actually use Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, but I'll probably move to Final Cut Pro because everyone says if you're comfortable with iMovie, you'll um, you'll have an easier time moving into Final Cut Pro. Um, but iMovie has pretty much everything I need, guys. So anyway, that's my MacBook Pro. I've got a, a pop screen right there. I've got a BenQ monitor that's pretty old. That's a 27 inch. That's on a uh, swivel arm right there that I like. That I um, actually one of my channel members in our Discord. I forget who told me which one to buy. He linked it for me. I think it's GMD. I think you told me it. I forgot. I'm, I'm terrible with remembering things. <laughs> Bad memory. Uh, suggested that arm and it works great actually. So that's for my BenQ monitor. Um, if you want me, um, I'll link all the products that I use in the description. Uh, we've got a Logitech webcam there. I believe. I believe that's a C922, I think. Um, I am sponsored by Astro Gaming, and I believe Logitech either acquired Astro or merged with them or something. I don't know. If you click the link in the description for Astro products, and then there should be a link to Logitech from there. Either way, you'll help me out if you buy any Logitech or Astro products from there, and you'll get a discount too, I believe. All right, what else we got here? We have, uh, we have a Blue Yeti microphone. That's what I use for both uh, making videos and then this iMac here is um, for live commentaries and streaming. Now when I say live commentaries, that's when I basically just place the microphone right here and I just sit in front of my screen and I do my reset video and I do my Zer video and then I just, uh, I just upload it right to YouTube from that iMac. Uh, that's the iMac that I also use for streaming too as well. And uh, there's my uh, Astro A40. That's the A40 Pros right there and the A40 Pro TR mix, well, the Pro Mix Amp. And these things sound redonkulous. Um, those are the new versions, the Pro versions. It, it, if you're gonna order any Astro products, the A50s, they revamp them. They're amazing now. Much, much better than the previous version. Same thing with the A40s and the Pro Mix Amp. They're, it, they just sound ridiculous and you can get those. I say get the A40s if you're someone that sits like right in front of your monitor and you're gonna be playing. But if you're sitting on the couch, obviously get the A50s. But if you're sitting close to a monitor or not far from your TV, just get the um, the Pro with the mix amp. I mean, I love that I could just mix chat and everything so easy. Love these things. That's a nice plug, Sean. What else we got here? My PS4 Pro is in the back. We've got an Elgato HD60 right there. Um, I also use an Elgato HD60S sometimes. And um, what else from the equipment? I use a Logitech, well, this kind of like a, this is a large gaming mouse. 
here that they sent me. That's another cool thing is when um, when I do get a PC, I'll be able to get all Logitech products like the um, mice, uh, keyboards, things like that. Uh, got those lights off Amazon. I don't know why. I, I just think they look cool because I um. If you haven't noticed in a lot of my streams and videos, when I am on face cam, the lights are off. I hate overhead lighting. I just like to be lit up by low lights. Anyway, all right, moving along here. Let's go to this side here. We've got some tchotchkes. Uh, tchotchkes over here, as we say, New York. And up top, that's my first Mesa Sean Vantage that they sent me. And that's my first Mesa Sean Impact that they sent me. We've got a, uh, we've got a dragon right there, a scuffed dragon. Let's get a good look at that. How cool is that? Love that design. Uh, we've got a couple. I can't fit that thing in there. You know what? We're going to put you right here because I can't fit it back in there. Uh, we've got some uh, Gamer Grip that Scuff sent me. You put that on your hands and it's supposed to stop perspiration. We've got a couple more Scuff Impacts. Um, what else we got here? We have a extra webcam here. The, uh, the C922 Pro. That's what I use uh, right now above my monitor. And I've got a backup just in case anything happens. Uh, I've got an empty bottle of Borderlands 3 water from the uh, Borderlands 3 live reveal. Uh, what else we got? The original invitation for the Destiny 2 reveal. We've got an Ace of Spades. We've got a, uh, we got a little Kate 6 there. Um, we've got some old games here. What do we got? Destiny 1. We've got Kills on Shadowfall. That's what uh, started this channel. Um, and actually, if I did not get two broken PS4s, I would not have a YouTube channel. Yeah, I had two PS4s that were dead on arrival right when um, the PS4 came out. And I said, you need to send me something in compensation for having two dead PS4s. So they said, well, we could send you a game. So I said, well, do you have any first-person shooters? I said, and they said, yes. And I said, what do you got? And they said, Killzone Shadowfall. I said, all right, send it to me. I never played a Killzone game in my life. Tried it, fell in love with it, and started making content. Streamed it every night on Twitch to about two people. And made videos and live commentaries every single day. And then the Destiny 2 Alpha came out, and that completely changed my life. Moving along here, we have Titanfall 2, one of the best multiplayer experiences in my humble opinion. Oh my god, attrition, that game mode, I literally, oh, I could not get out of that game, um, that particular playlist. Love that, and I really hope we get a Titanfall 3. We got Horizon Zero Dawn, love that game, I did a whole bunch of content on that. Call of Duty Ghosts, I actually like that game a lot. I played it for a good eight months, and that's um, until I discovered Kills on Shadowfall, and then I switched over. But um, still Black Ops 2 is my favorite Call of Duty of all time, but I'm looking forward to the next Call of Duty from Infinity Ward, uh, Modern Warfare. We've got some more Destiny 2 and Destiny 1 games there, and let's see, just another, oh no, that's, that's another copy of why do I have two copies of Horizon Zero Dawn? That's weird. All right, here we got a bunch of stuff. We've got a uh, Destiny, uh, the Taken King uh, Collector's Edition. No, no, is that the Collector? Yeah, Col uh, Collector's Edition. We've got some, uh, let's see, some books and stuff from that, and also the original Destiny 1 uh, Collector's Edition, I believe. Yeah, this is, I forget, I don't know. It's in my closet. We'll see what else here. This thing actually, I think, comes with a strange coin, if I believe. Let me flip this over. And if you open it up, I could have sworn there was, yeah, there's some sort of, like, paperwork. And, hold on, we got more stuff in here. Yep, and there's a strange coin. Check that out. How cool is that? Strange coin. Nice. I like. All right, what else we got here? We've got some, uh, oh, here we go, 3D wood model. Here we go, Sparrow, 3D wood model, okay? And why do I have two of them? I don't know. Um, I have some Bungie notebooks or some Destiny notebooks there. Um, when I first, I think I went to a dawning, the event for a, one of the dawning events. I, I think it was the first one actually. Um, right before it, they sent me this package right here. And this was uh, the introduction to, look who it is, good old Eververse. Oh, and it has a letter from Tess. And it had this really nice envelope that was kind of wrapped in this thing here. And if we opened it up, oh, that's my girlfriend. I'll text, I will call her right after this. And we have some postcards here from Tess Everest. Yeah, I should post these, I should take close-up screenshots and, well, screenshots. I should take close-up pictures and post these to my Instagram. So I'm looking, actually, follow me on Instagram, guys. Mesa underscore Sean. What else here? We've got a, we got a scuff hat. I don't wear hats, so that's sitting there. We've got some, uh, I don't know, some cards and stuff. As you can see, I collect a lot of things, and when you see my closet, you'll see so see even more stuff that I collect. Uh, what's this? This is a bungee collectible pin and lanyard. Uh, we've got a bunch more pins. 
It's got some uh, Bungie Destiny buttons there. It's a Destiny sticker. Got some more cards. I think these came with one of the collector's editions, I think. I think so. Might have been. I don't know. It's an Earth sticker. I think that came with the, the original Destiny collector's edition. Oh, look. There's a DCP sticker from one of the Guardian Cons. Another Cade 6 and yeah, a whole bunch of stuff there. All right, there's, there's Max. What a good looking dog. Hey Max, did you go potty before? I just say that key word to make your ears go up. All right, moving over here, we have a 3D printed Hawk Moon and 3D printed Last Word. Uh, it was my mini factory that sent me those a long time ago, and man, I love that. Just look at the detail on that thing. That thing is absolutely stunning. Love it. And I just wish Hawk, look, Bungie, make Hawk Moon the last uh, exotic hand cannon to come back in Destiny 2, right? The rest, just make new ones or not hand cannons, right? Uh, here we have a 4K60 Pro internal capture card for PC. So when I do get a PC uh, this fall, I'll be able to um, have an internal capture card. Uh, we've got some real silver right here. Check that out. That came with the envelope and postcards from Tess Evers. Little ghost right here. We got a Funko Pop. I've got a bunch of, uh, let's see, um, McFarlane action figures here, and they come with signed letters from actually Todd McFarlane. Let's see if we can actually get this here. Focus in. Hopefully, it doesn't say my real name on it, but you know what? Who cares at this point? Uh, there we go. Yeah, from Todd McFarlane. So he signed this one because they sent me two packages. He signed this one and he signed this one too. How cool is that? Um, but what do we have? We've got Icora Bay. Let me focus on that. Ikora Ray. We've got a King's Fall Warlock. We've got another King's Fall Warlock. Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. King's Fall Warlock. Yeah, okay. Interesting. All right. That one's got Icebreaker and Touch of Malice. This one has... Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on. Sorry. All right. We've got a Gunslinger Cade 6. We've got an Iron Banner Hunter. We've got a Vault of Gloss Titan. We've got Zavala. Cade 6 again. And in the back, we have an Iron Banner Hunter and another King's Fall Warlock. All right, I, you know what? I, I need to do a giveaway or something at some point. All right, we got a Scuff Prestige. Um, what else we got here? The uh, Destiny 1 Strategy Guide, a Killzone um, artwork uh, book th that um, Gorilla Games sent me. What else? We got the book or a little uh, thing that came with uh, the Destiny 2 Collector's Edition. I thought the Destiny 2 Collector's Edition was awesome. Actually, I have an unopened sealed one sitting in my closet back there, which... I'm going to show you in a second here. We've got a Mega Constructs thing here that I never put together. That's a big uh, ghost, and there's a little Lord Saladin in there. We've got the ghost from the original Destiny Collector's Edition. Stress Balls, uh, my favorite brand of watches. Again, follow me at Mesa underscore Sean on Instagram for my watch collection. I'm really into collecting watches. We've got a um, Lord Shax uh, McFarlane figure. Um, and I'm going to do another jump cut here to show you what's in this big Rise of Iron box right here. Which, uh, uh, actually, it was Bungie and Activision sent me this right when, right before Rise of Iron came out. Let me do the jump cut. So in here we see Rise of Iron. And in here we've got a pretty cool looking t-shirt, which I've never worn. And we've got an Agent of the Nine hoodie, which is really cool. See, look, Agent of the Nine, Zerb. And at the time of recording this, everyone loves Zerb because he's selling Stompies with traction and he's selling the One-Eyed Mask with enhanced hand cannon targeting. Um, those are cool, but I don't wear them, not for collectors, but just because they're way too big. I'm not an XL. I am uh, now like a medium now, actually, since I uh, switched to Muay Thai and started working out like crazy. What else we got here? We have a Hunter Blade right there. Oh, and also this little... I forgot, this actually was in the Rise of Iron thing. It's a canvas, actually. Let me flip this over, see? Canvas with command strips on the back. Canvas uh, from Rise of Iron with some concept art. Really cool, I remember we all got a, we all got a bunch of these boxes with a different canvas on them, so pretty cool stuff. And here's all the lanyards. Uh, let's make sure my name doesn't get, well, you know, who cares if my name is shown at this point. A um, whole bunch of lanyards with my name on them from all the different events I've been to. Uh, we've got a 3D printed, uh, axe right here. I forgot that also came with that whole setup right there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. It looks pretty cool. We've got a hunter blade that also came from my mini factory. I've got a little. Uh, this is one of those lights. Uh, also got it off Amazon. It's plugged in. Yeah, it is plugged in. And it's one of those light bulbs. You. Oops, sorry. I was, I was not focusing on it because I was busy looking at the remote. It's one of those um, lights you can just make different colors. I usually put this. Like I'll put those lights on behind me when I stream and I'll put this little stand 
uh, behind my seat and make it a usually blue just to match my chair because my chair is a blue background so I'll make this blue let's see if I can make it a darker blue is there a dark blue no it's purple purpley where's a dark blue I'm gonna find one a yellow no could have sworn oh there's a blue I like okay well it's not showing up on the camera so don't worry about it so there we go off all right and then lastly um I have a whole bunch of stuff in here which you probably can't see because there's no light in here. I need to install some sort of light, but yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here. There's um, all those uh, 3A action figures, those Destiny 3A action figures. It's, it's weird because this camera is letting me see that stuff easier than I could see with my human eye. Uh, 3A, I have like one, two, yeah, I have, I have like five or I think five or six of those 3A action figures. I got a couple of hunters, two warlocks, and a titan. I think. Yeah, there's like five of them. And they, uh, they're, they're, they're amazing. I had them set up uh, on my shrine to Bungie um, in my old setup. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of things like uh, some Astro headsets and a whole bunch of scuff controllers, scuff boxes, Destiny collector's items, uh, spare, spare cables. Yeah, all sorts of stuff here. Actually, I lied. I do have a PC. I have a uh, Razer. I think it's a Razer. No, it's an Asus. Yeah, it's an Asus laptop that Nava Bear, my clanmate from Rezo, he's my uh, good friend who's going to help me learn the ways of a PC whenever I actually do get a PC. But yeah, I actually do have this this laptop here, but um, it's old. But you know what? Actually, uh, you know what? I might do the cross save um, this this August and then plug a scuff controller in here. I know, I know, you need to play mouse and keyboard when you play Destiny to be one of the cool kids, but I'm old, so I'm going to stick a scuff controller, a scuff impact, or scuff vantage, and I'm going to play Destiny on that, um, you know what, I'll connect my BenQ monitor to that, um, I mean, it, it's probably not going to look that good, because I don't know, what I don't even know what the specs are on that thing anymore, but uh, yeah, I'll plug that into the BenQ, plug my scuff in there, and uh, migrate over to Destiny 2 and see what it's like to play on there. So, all right, so that's going to do it for the tour. And um, that's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hey, Max. Max, did you eat your food before? Let's see the good looking dog, Max. Oh, the little old man. He's not an old man. He's still a book. Jack Russell's a permanent puppies. Max just turned 13. Max, was it your birthday? Max has kidney stones right now. However, it's nothing serious though. They did the x-ray, they did the ultrasound, and now we put him on some medicine, and we put him on some uh, a dietary food that he's gonna be on for life because he needs to uh, ex excrete those stones. Right, Max? Hey, Max, where's Beverly? Uh-oh, I think Beverly's coming over. Oh, he's tired, he's so hot. It's so hot in New York. All right, YouTube, we're out of here like Vladimir.